I'm going to say it again. A Christian is a religious creature. I used to be a Christian. It almost killed me. I was poor and enjoying poverty because religion makes you comfortable in poverty. I was sick and enjoying sickness. Why? Because religion makes you comfortable in sickness. The word Christian was never, ever used by Jesus. It was never introduced by Jesus. And he never, ever told us to call ourselves that. Never. The word Christian was created by and introduced by pagans. Read your history. Peter never used it. James never used it. John never used it. Paul mentions it twice. When he was in a pagan town. When the pagans didn't know what to call the believers. So they invented this word that you've adopted. I rebuke that in the name of Jesus. I don't want to carry any name the pagans gave me. I want the name he gave me. He says, you are sons of God. Come on, shout amen, somebody. He says, you are kings and priests. Oh, I like that better. A Christian is a religious person. A citizen is a legal person. Christians belong to a religious group. But a citizen belongs to a kingdom. A religious creature gets things from his gods by appeasing them. A citizen gets things from his government by qualifying for them. A citizen is different. A religious person gets things from their gods by doing acts of worship but a citizen gets things from his government by demanding his rights <laughs> oh we gotta get it man so when you are a Christian that's why you gotta do a lot of things to make God like you because you are just like the heathen and the pagans pagans build temples to their gods they bring food to their gods they offer money to their gods they do oblations they pour out all kind of wine and blood they offer sacrifices I mean the Romans did it the Greeks did it the Herodians did it the Assyrians did it the Babylonians did it. these were not atheists they believed in gods they were religious people the Romans were very religious matter of fact the word used for these different religions was simply pagans. A pagan is not an atheist. A pagan is a worshiper, a religious person that served their gods and was very dedicated to their gods. The Romans had many temples that they worship in. God of Zeus, God of Paulus, Diana of the Ephesians, all of these major gods. They were worshiping people and they threw the believers of Christ into another category. They call them, you just another religion called Christians. And that's why Christians today are listed among one of the world religions. What a tragedy. I said, what a tragedy. Because oh, we got religions in our country. We got Islam, Buddhism, Christianity, Sautism, Taoism, Scientology. See, they list you as one of them. But not me. No, I got delivered from that stuff. Can I hear an amen? When Jesus walked the earth, they didn't know what to call him. He wasn't a Pharisee, because they were far, you see. He wasn't a Sadducee, because they were sad, you see. <laughs> he wasn't an Herodian. He was not an Essene like John. He was this guy they couldn't categorize. Many times when they met him, their first question was, who are you? <laughs> if you get the message today that I'm teaching of the kingdom, when you go back to work, they'll say, who are you? And your 
answer should not be, I am a Christian. Why? That's a religious person. Tell him, oh, I am a son of the living God working here in this location to bring transformation to this job. Come on, shout hallelujah, man. Oh, hallelujah. Everybody say, the kingdom is coming alive inside of me. When I was a Christian, <laughs> I owed everybody. This is the truth of my testimony. When I understood the kingdom, today I am debt free.